In this video, I'm showing how an outsider can get access to an organization using AAD internal phishing functionality. And what we have here, we have uh, two users. We have Nestor Wilkie, who is a director uh, of a Contoso organization. Then we have a manager who, whose name is Diego Siciliani. And we are using AAD internal toolkit here. So first we need to uh, load or import that module so i will do that import module aad internals like this and then we are going to start the phishing campaign <clears throat> and uh, we are actually using a new functionality in, in aad internals which is called aad phishing AAD int phishing, yes, like this. And uh, this is a new functionality and it's based on device code authentication flow. I just just discovered that that uh, could be used for phishing and I'm going to show you how easy that actually is. So first we need recipients. So I'm going to send email to both of these guys. So let's say Nestor W at Toso. And Diego S. And subject. Well, uh, we could actually customize the message too, but I'm just using default ones just for demonstration purposes, so we don't touch that. But we at the subject, let's say, bad send you a document. And then the sender, bad company, bad at company.com, like this. And then we also need SMTP server. I'm using my own here. It's already saved on a variable. So, so now we have everything. And I'll just add the save to CAS, which means that uh, those access tokens we are receiving are saved to CAS so that we can use them as soon as we got them. Okay, so I just hit the, hit the enter button here, and it says, that, okay, two mails are sent, and there they are. And Diego sees this, okay, seems to be a phishing. This is the default message. And it's okay, this seems a bit, a bit fishy, so I'll just delete it. But then we have this director here who is not so, let's say, um, security aware. So he will just click the link here. And as you can see, the link is microsoft.com slash device login. Okay, and now the user cl uh, clicks the link. And it is asking for code, which is that device code, which is right here. And he's going to enter the code there. Click the next button. And then just uh, click the user as who you are going to log in. And because it is the Nestor Wilkie, he is clicking his own name. And here we can see that the user is asked to sign into Microsoft Office because we are using the client ID of the Microsoft Office here. So from user point of view, this seems very legit. So he will just click there. And now we have compromised this user. As we can see, we have received access token for Nestor W at contoso.myo365.site. OK, so what can we do now? Because we have uh, access as the user. So first, let's see where we can have access. So get AD in cache like this. And let's say um, format table user and uh, resource. Oh, format table. Hmm. Let's try again. So we have access to Outlook, we have access to Teams, Graph, API, 
uh, AD Graph API, Microsoft Graph API, and, and Management.core, Windows.net. So those are there automatically. So what are we going to do now is that we are going to send an email as Nestor to Diego. We are going to use AAD internals to do this. So I will say send AAD in Outlook message. Recipients will be Diego. And subject due payment and message. Uh, this is an HTML message. So I'm going to say hi. Pay this ASAP. like this Let's say exclamation mark to make it more uh, urgent okay so do we now have everything now i think so so i will just send the message and if i'm not specifying save to send items this email won't be saved to nestor's send items so i will just click the enter to send the message and here it is so now i sent message as a nestor to Diego. And if we want to make it even more convincing, I can also send Teams message recipients Diego S. Message. like this. Now, you see that here's something happening here. There's a new chat message from Nestor Wilke. And he's saying that, okay, you really should look at that payment and make it. Right. Okay. And now, if we want to cover our tracks, we can do that also. So we can actually delete this message. Uh, well, Nestor will see it here. But can he delete it? He could delete it this way also, but um, we can do it using AAD internals. So that's a, that message ID here is message ID of the client who created that message. Uh, what we want to do is that get AAD in Teams messages. And we're going to select <coughs> where ID. I don't know. Well, we will just list everything. Let's put it in that way. So, format table, and I'm going to select ID. And I'm going to select deletion status. And we're going to select the content. like this. <clears throat> and this is the message actually we want to delete. So I'm just going to say remove AAD in Teams message and message IDs. I'm going to give that one like that. And the message is done. So now when I'm listing the messages again, I can see that it's deleted at that that particular time. Okay, thank you for watching and happy hacking.